lovely welcome if you are new or if it's your first time seeing my face hey i was pondering on something today and it was a video that i'd previously watched and it was about this lady she was talking about church and she was giving her testimony about how she gave to her home church she was constantly given even when she wasn't attending church she was given her 10 percent and things just went sour and she didn't receive any help from anyone from that said church and you know when she'd went to ask it was as if she was a beggar or a vagabond and it was it was horrible and i could relate so much to that and i was like man you know as christians it, it's so sad to, to hear things like that especially when individuals leave church because of offense because of what they received or how they were treated in the church unfair, unfairly and such because I can relate to that being hurt by individuals that are supposed to be in church that it's kind of like you go to church and you expect these people to be different than you know people in the world you expect them to be understanding you expect them to be loving especially if they've been there for a while because we're supposed to be a re representation of Christ so it's almost like it's so disheartening you know to go to church to receive that kind of treatment that you would expect from the world right so it's kind of like it, 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 if you're not strong in the faith if you're not strong in the lord it will it can really do a work on you i was thinking about it today and i was just like man like that is so sad because how many of us have experienced that i'm sure you may be able to relate to this like you could share your own testimony about things you've experienced in the church and it's sad i'm thinking upon the apostles and how they modeled christ and how they were as a, a church what a church is the true definition of what a church is to be and how you know they gathered together and whoever were farmers whatever it is they had they would bring that in to the congregation to Paul and all the apostles and they would distribute it to the poor the widow you know the orphans and just people that were in need so no one would be in need right because it was just that constant whatever I have I'm going to give and no one was left empty-handed and that's how we're to embody Christ today but sadly a lot of times we don't find that not saying that it's not there, not saying it's not possible, but I'm just speaking from a place of where I had been and had it not been for the grace of God, then I would just think that, you know, all churches are like this, all Christians are like that, where they don't really embody the gospel. They don't really practice what they preach per se, right? Like, are we turning people away from Christ? This picture came to my mind. I don't know if it was an open vision. I was up. I was moving about doing stuff and this picture came to my mind i don't know if it's a woman i have no idea who it was maybe this is for me maybe it's for a group of people this person had all these things in their home just lavish just beautiful things and they were taking things they, like they were doing a clean out like a declutter and they were decluttering their space and you'd see these beautiful antiques and just these beautiful things that if you were to see them you would consider them a steal like if you were going to the thrift store i don't know about you but go to the thrift store and pick up some things and you're just like wow or you go to a yard sale and it's like oh my goodness it's just so exciting you know you go and you get a bargain like it's like oh my gosh it's, it's worth so much but i paid so little for it right anyway so i saw this individual and they were cleaning out and it's like each thing they picked up they looked upon it and, and it just brought this joy like you just see this expression of joy on their faces and it's almost as if that just transferred onto that item that that person had and just all that they were taken they were gonna give it i don't know if it was for a donation i don't know if it was for charity i don't know what it was for but it was just that joy of knowing that whomever it is that's going to receive this thing that they're given is going to bring that receiver that person that's receiving is going to bring them joy the holy spirit was like that's what given is and so that leads me to think upon this right now imagine we had that same heart of given when the word of god says that we're supposed to give 10 percent that 10 percent doesn't ha necessarily have to be 10 percent. it could be more or whatever you have to give, but while you're giving, or if you make it up in your heart to say, God, I'm gonna give this to you. It's not to say, I'm gonna give this to the church as my tithe and my offering. Yes, you're supposed to do that, but it's, God, I'm 
I'm giving this to you like that excitement just like I saw that individual getting all these treasures uh, to donate I don't know just the joy that they had upon them just this freeness just this they're almost overwhelmed should I say with excitement of just the thought of giving and the Holy Spirit says that's what giving is about yes you may be hurt or you may, as I'm even sharing this, you may be thinking, why does it even matter if I give? You may be so broken. The enemy has had you so broken where you're thinking back upon places that you've been, churches that you've gone to with the hopes of being accepted by someone, being accepted by people in the church and they've let you down. And now here you are just, I, I don't want to have anything to do with church. I don't want to have anything to do with the so-called people in the church i think i touched upon something like this before i don't i'm not sure but honestly god had to heal me in this area and that's why i'm sharing it right now we go through things in life and one of two things can happen i think it's either you look for ways to say i'll never be come like that person that hurt me or you will say i'm gonna do exactly what that person did to me to so and so i don't know about you but the experiences that i've gone through in life i don't want to be the one treating others the way i don't want to be treated yes what you went through wasn't great that experience wasn't great maybe he allowed for it to happen to teach you something as i matured a bit i was like why did god allow me to go through that and it's almost as if you know god had to show me that no i didn't let you go through it for nothing it was for a reason you know everything that god allows us to go through it's for a reason and sometimes i think it's us that get ourselves in situations but then that's a different circumstance i'm not talking about that there are times that we go through things but there's also times that you were wrongly placed into a situation you were mistreated sadly right but god wants you to know that there's something to learn from that grow from it is what god wants he wants you to grow from that situation so that way he can use you to help others that may be going through similar situ circumstances as he says that he allows all things to work together for our good that's where i'm picturing a lot of us going moving forward you know as we mature god wants for a lot of us that have been hurt that had expectations in others that same expectation that we had in others god wants for us to have that expectation in him and so i believe the season is coming now where god is turning our hearts toward him if you're not there maybe this that's why i said i'm not sure who this message is for but if you've been hurt because you gave in hopes that as you give to the mission of christ you gave and you were expecting that you know the church could be a place of solace and it so happened that that wasn't the case for you i believe in this season god is turning a lot of individuals their heart have been hurt and calloused for a minute toward the people of god not necessarily toward the people of god well i, I guess but toward the church and it's like you're seeing god stripping away that hurt and drawing you back to a place where you can say i'm gonna go back to church but not going back to church because you're looking to people no you're going back to church because you're returning to a place of worship while you were hurt god allowed for you to heal god allowed for his spirit to be so richly within you for you to grow from that hurt to grow past that hurt so you know now that when i go to church it's not to expect so and so to notice me but it's to go and to be a part of the body of christ because we're each there to serve a purpose now as you give you're saying god i'm given with a cheerful heart i'm given with joy to know that i'm given to your work and it's to give so that the lights can stay on it's given so that you know to send others out a mission to tell people about the gospel it's not to say oh yeah i'm given so that way when i come to the church in expectation i'm going to get no you're not going to church with the expectation of receiving anything but to be fed be edified that's what you're expecting because in your season of hurt god has taught you how 
to draw to him, to cry out to him, to, to say, God, this is my last $5 and I'm trusting you, oh God, that you will help me. And even if you don't allow this $5 to stretch the way I want it to stretch, I'm still going to have faith in you that you will do exceedingly abundantly far above than I could ever ask, hope, or imagine. Not to say that you're expecting financial gain or financial riches. This is not about prosperity. This is about knowing that when you give, that God will provide. Knowing that you are adhering to God's command, not with any ill motives. You're not living a sinful life where you're saying, okay, well, I have $5, God give. And if you don't give back to me, then forget about praying, forget about reading my Bible, forget about drawing closer. No, I'm not talking about individuals as such because if that's how we choose to be as individual i was there if we choose to be lukewarm living any and anyhow let's not expect god to do anything for us really if we're wishy-washy like that right but this is for those individuals that have come to that place where they've been hurt by they've been let down and they have seen god come through for them time and time again and so now they have this attitude where it's it is god even if i have five dollars in my account I am going to give because something happens when I give. It gives me this joy. It gives me this sense of knowing that you are my provider. It gives me the strength to know that you are my peace. It gives me the strength to know that you are Jehovah Jireh, my provider, right? And so while we give, it's like God is allowing us to open doors in the spiritual realm where it may be financial or it may just be healing it may be um emotional healing mental healing right and so because we have matured now in this season when we go back to church well not we but i'm speaking for that individual when you go back to church now you're going to be refreshed you're no longer going to be who you used to be. You're no longer, like I said, going back to church to receive anything from anyone, really. You're going back to church to be edified. So that in your season of lack, you will know it would be nice if the church could come alongside you, pray for you, and, and pour into your life. But that is not why or where your hope lies. Your hope now lies in knowing that in spite of what I do or do not have, I know who is for me. I know God is with me and I know he's for me. So I no longer give. You no longer give expecting anything in return. You give because you know that God is giving you that spirit of joy, that spirit of happiness, that spirit of hope. And so that's why I said I saw this picture, this image of an individual just given out of their abundance, like decluttering and just the joy overflowing. So may this video comes to you as an encouragement to let you know that maybe this doesn't even have to do with um <laughs> tithing maybe this just genuinely has to do with the fact that god has given his children joy god has given his children a sense of peace to know um you know the word of god says that peace i leave not as the world gives but as the father gives so i give to you not to say that things are not going to happen but just to know that you have that assurance that peace that you have within god that surpasseth all human understanding so that you can guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Give you that peace to say, regardless of the situation or the circumstances that you are faced, God's got you. God wants the best for you. He hasn't forgotten you. Be encouraged. God bless you and God willing, you'll stop by for my next video. Until then, take care.